I made Space Invaders in VR. You know that classic old arcade game? But that isn't even the most important part because this game helped me realize something about VR game development which could change VR gaming and maybe even regular game development too. This is because I accidentally created a mechanic that forces you to move around but you never have to take a step. I'm basically scaling the world, spatial scaling. But first I need to take you through the process of how I discovered it and made the movement mechanic. Otherwise the rest of the video won't make any sense. So I first started making the world and I set up everything, the space invaders, the player, the little barriers. At first I had the system set up so that people would use the joystick or teleport to a location to move around, which is okay, I mean, it's fine. But I realized when looking at the original game that you had to move left and right to actually go out and underneath the barrier to try hitting the space invaders above you. So I realized I had to move around physically in VR, like physically moving left and right. What I did instead was I made a lerp function or a linear interpolation function to the new position. Instead of teleporting, kind of shifting someone along the floor. Now, this is something that 2D, 3D game devs use all the time and I was using it in my VR game. And what I did was I lerped the position of the XR camera, so the VR camera, or the player's head, the physical head in space, and I mapped that to a position to a larger range, starting from the center of the world. This therefore allows me to expand my play space, which comes with three added benefits. The first benefit is that it allows me to use more of the game world. If I move a few centimeters left, as I mentioned earlier, I'm actually moving meters in my game. The next benefit is that it takes away motion sickness to a large extent, at least for me. I'm not sure if other people would feel motion sick if they realize that 10 centimeters in real life equals two, three, four, 10 meters in the game world, but it allows me to use the vestibular system's natural movement to prevent motion sickness. A big reason why people get motion sick in VR, they see themselves moving, but they don't feel themselves moving because their inner ear and that vestibular system and all those tubules don't actually feel the movement. But now when you see and feel your move, you feel less motion sick. The last benefit is that it makes the movement feel more natural. Kind of building off the last point, if I move left in VR, then I move left in my game. Other games have a joystick or a teleport, which are both eh, like it, it's fine. But with this, I'm embodying the player. So if you're still listening and you are a 2D or 3D dev, then I'm going to tell you some little tiny pieces of knowledge that would help you in your game for any type of game developer, a high level or a beginner. So the first piece of advice I have based off what I learned applies to everyone. And that is I would advise you to make more mistakes in your code. Wait, 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 no, no. What I mean is go experiment and play with things. Change variables, swap out variables randomly. See what happens if you multiply or divide something. Just play around. Try your best to not be so rigid in your thinking because I was able to figure out the spatial scaling mechanic because I was willing to play and break from the norms of the teleportation and joystick mechanics that are often found in VR. For the intermediate devs, I would say try using Lerp more. And this doesn't really apply to beginners because, you know, you're still trying to get the game engine working. But for intermediate devs, I would say try using Lerp more because it makes the game feel more polished. And if you're a beginner and you want to become an intermediate, start using linear interpolation or Lerp. It changes your game drastically. And for the more experienced devs out there, I say try your best to play with camera pivots and rotations because that happens a lot in VR. And I've never really seen that happen in 3D or 2D even. So I'd say try playing around with the it may lead to new novel effects such as screen shakes or just new effects that we don't even know about that no one's really done in a video game before so that's all i really wanted to say with this video i originally planned it to be a i made a space invaders in vr but honestly i found this camera sliding mechanic so much more novel than a little showcase of how i made the game if you're interested in that let me know i could make a video but anyways here's some gameplay of space invaders in vr okay we are off and right now they've already distorted quite a bit of my barrier, but oh. get lost. Good. At the moment, there's no limit for how much I can fire, but oh. where are you at? Far a bit ahead of him. Yes. Okay. 